In this episode we're going to be talking about a very common problem which is a leak from your submersible pressure gauge known as your contents gauge or your SPG. In getting this right not only will you be able to save some money without having to go and get somebody else to sort a problem that you can solve very simply for just a couple of pounds and you'll be able to save the dive before you scrap it and you'll look cool. Hi I'm Andy the Northern Diver and in this episode we're going to be talking about submersible pressure gauges. Welcome to another video in this series of scuba diving tutorials where we're going to be talking about how to repair a leaking SPG. Now if this is your first time here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and while you're doing that, if you hit the little bell icon to the side of it, you'll get a notification every time we post a new video. But you can't do that if you don't have a YouTube account and if you need to know how to do that, I've posted a little link up here. It's a little short video that will tell you how you go about setting up an account if you've never set one up before. Oh, and make sure you stick around to the end because I'll be giving you my top tip. So very rarely I think a new divers taught about how to service their own kit because it's seen as taboo. But there's a lot of servicing of your own kit that you can do yourself. For instance, you can rinse it out every time you go diving. But when you get it home, rinse it all down. That's part of servicing, just keeping it clean. When you set all your kit up and you're doing your buddy checks or even before that, you might notice from about here a little bit of a hiss. And when you get in the water, you might see just a small little stream of bubbles, much like you see inside a champagne glass. It's not going to just, you know, blow up and go everywhere. But, you know, we're taught don't enter the incident pit as new divers, aren't we? So why worry about this when you can just fix it yourself? So what you need is a couple of spanners that fit these particular... There's, there's one on the top and one on the bottom. So you need two spanners. You need to undo it. And as it comes to the top, you'll notice inside, in there, is what's known as a swivel. So we pull it out. And generally, the reason it's leaking is because it's pretty manky. So you can do one of two things. You can replace it for a brand new one. You might not have one. You might not be in a place where you can buy one. So if you haven't got one, the best thing you can do, give it a bit of a clean off, a bit of soap and water, rinse it off, get all that little bit of grime that's on there, get that off. So just grease it up. Don't cake it on, just put a little bit on your fingertips and just rub it round and then put it on. Much like if you're, if you're having to sort of Vaseline your lips because you've got chapped lips. That's that sort of amount. Pop it back in and do this up nice and tight. What you'll do then, turn your cylinder on, that shouldn't be leaking. Now if it is, there's a good chance you've either done something wrong or perhaps you do need to pass it on to somebody else. But if, if that doesn't seem too taxing to you, just go and do it. Why would you pay someone £20 for something I've just done in a couple of minutes? That's all it takes to fix it. So my top tip then would always be to know what kind of swivel you have in that and carry a spur and carry some silicon grease. There's no good having a spur and no silicon grease because it needs greasing up before you put it in because it does dry out over time. So carry a spur and carry some grease, they're my top tips. If you've got any questions or comments on what I've just done, or you've got any thoughts or ideas of what you might need to do, um, put them in the comments box below. I'll be sure to get back to you and give you a thumbs up for doing that. And make sure you watch the rest of the videos in this series so you can keep abreast of all things scuba. A link for that is up here. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See you on Insta.